I played Mad Party in Standard to see if it was better than Lost March, and now I'm taking it to Expanded to see if it's better than Night March. There isn't much I changed between the two decks. You know, instead of 12 Night Marchers and 4 Electro Power, there are 16 Mad Partiers, there's 4 Bonnaby, 4 Dedenny, 4 Poltegeist, and 4 Delarian Mr. Rhyme. And that's about it when it comes to the changes. You know, the list is pretty straightforward, and if I had to say if this is better than Night March right now, I'd reply with, uh, not really. Electro Power can buff Joltek higher than Bunnelby, but Bunnelby can do a lot of damage consistently. It's not to say that Mad Party is bad and expanded, far from it, it's just they're kind of on the same wavelength when it comes to power. I think if you played 100 games with each deck, Mad Party would probably win a couple more, but more or less they're fairly even. Regardless, let's take Mad Party into Expanded where things are totally fair and balanced and nothing needs to be banned or changed or anything. It's all just perfect. And I guess I'm facing a water deck? It really depends. I don't know quite what it would be. A water deck in Expanded. You assume Archie's Blastoise, and I lost the coin flip, so they're probably going to go second. You always want to go second with Night March, with... oh man. With Lost March, with every party, I don't know. Every deck like this, you probably want to go second. Oh, it's Mewtwo. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, I don't play a Mew, which maybe I should think about playing a Mew, and I do need to put a supporter in the discard. So I will put, well, I don't have teammates, so Juniper it is. And this is definitely the downside of playing so few energy, and I don't play a special charge. Maybe I should play special charge, but, you know, I play six energy. Maybe I should cut an energy, put a special charge in, that way I go from essentially 6 to 7. So make that judgment yourself, it's just sometimes you lose energy and it's unfortunate and you can't get it back. Teammates can't get it back. Okay, yeah, so this is why the psychic weakness doesn't really matter, is because Jiroxy exists heavily and expanded because U2 and Mew is such a good deck. And they're probably just going to Soul Burst turn one, so I can get an attack off. Or I can just let them knock out Dedenny and try and conserve my energy. But if they get a Lysander or a Boss's Orders, then I'm just in trouble. So it just it was a tough start. You know, I played two Shaman, two Scoop Up Net, four Quick Ball, two Ultra Ball, four Battle Compressor. You know, just this is why you want to go second. I could have had a much better turn going second. They put the swell down. That's fine. I play swell as swell. Never mind. That was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. And they are discarding their hand. So I'm guessing, oh, they had to get rid of two prism energy. That's pretty good. And of course they play battle compressor. I guessing they'll just probably, so they, are, they already have Solialio. They'll probably just put more things that make it better. There's Mewtwo with damage change. Jolteon, oh, damage from basics, okay. And they're just gonna use Star Search, that's kind of underwhelming. Okay, so there's Battle Compressor. I think at this point, I'm just going for it. Can I even knock this thing out? Because I will definitely need to bump the Fighting Fury Belt. If I can knock it out this turn, I think I win. Because otherwise, there's the Jolteon. I do play Pokemon Ranger, and I think that bumps it as well. Uh, okay, so I have some things I can do. I definitely need to do that. I need to... Okay, so if I do that, I do that. I think I'm just going to use this right now. There's comp search, that's really good. I think I comp search for an ultra ball. So I put that back in my hand. I put the bundle be active. I definitely need, whoa, hang on. I need a field blower. I need field blower and something else, but field blower definitely number one here. So I think I can do it. I just need some things. So how much am I doing? I'm doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 160, 180, 
I don't, I think I, I think my prize has kind of screwed me up here because I'm going to be a little bit short unless I get rid of the, the one bundle be in my hand and just say, you don't got it next turn. So let's see what I get off the Shaman. Because I do also have Marshadow that I can attack with if necessary. And yeah, I guess I'm just going to do this. I don't have any, I have one left in the deck. I guess I just get Marshadow and then hope that this Shaman gets me something. There goes the Marshadow. I cannot get a Mad Party or I need either Battle Compressor or just a way to get that Bunnelby in the discard. I haven't done the math. Uh, so I've already used my Supporter. So this is just going to have to be... This has to be a knockout. It is 10 damage short. I knew it. I knew I needed a way to get that in the discard. The only way to do that would be to go get to Denny. But that would have been bad. So I'm 10 damage short on the Mewtwo and Mew, and now I need to use Pokemon Ranger. And I don't have Pokemon Ranger. Uh, this is bad. Okay, so, but I think I'm still in the same boat where as long as I can knock out this Mewtwo and Mew, then I can still win. Because that Jolteon will protect it, but this is the power of the deck. I think Joltik would have had a better chance of getting the knockout just because I could have burned Electro Powers, I think. And that buffs you by 30 and not 20. So this this is always the problem with Mad Party and Night March. Is just Pokemon are getting more HP and more HP. And it's you can't get through your entire deck on turn one and expand it. As much as you try, it's probably not gonna happen. You know, I was one away if I if I had just not prized one Mad Party, I probably would have found a way to get another one in the discard. But it's just that's that's the way it goes sometimes. And at the moment, there's no basic that's weak to any, nothing that's weak to Marshadow. I wish I could put the Solgaleo GX into play or something. Okay, so they're probably going to attack with Jolteon right now, and that is unfortunate. So I need to find a way to knock this out. I can definitely take a knockout with Marshadow. So I will... Put the DCE there. I definitely can target Whistle, but I really don't want to. So at this moment, I think, I think target Whistle is just gonna have to get sacked here because what's my energy situation? It's not great, so I can't ditch this DCE. I have to get Pokemon Ranger and I don't, I have to Denny though. Oh man, this is, this is horrible. So I think I versus get rid of the versus seeker. Oh, there's Orcorio. Okay, so I don't even have the Denny. So I need and Pokemon Ranger is prized. Wonderful. So the two cards that I need are prized. Back to back turns. That is that is irony right there. And if I get rid of this hand, I can't do anything. So there's Mad Party. I can I can't target whistle. I can't really do anything. So unfortunately, I think that's just going to be it for the Mad Party deck here in game one. Just because I whiff that knockout, and yeah, that was and they're protected. So they'll just keep doing that turn after turn. I don't have any evolutions. They just kind of win. I mean, yeah, my my prizes. If I'd just been able to get, you know, a town map or something, but I'll just concede I don't want to stick around for, you know, another 20 minutes playing that. But you saw, against one of the best decks in Expanded, Mewtwo and Mew, I was 10 damage short from basically putting them in a position where they concede, and then I was a Pokemon Ranger away from doing the same thing the following turn, but because of prizes and just the way the draws worked, it didn't happen. So let's go to game two, and hopefully I don't get screwed by prizes again. I will Pokemon, okay. You know, despite what you may have seen in the previous match, the matchup against Mewtwo and Mew isn't horrible for Night March or Mad Party. It's just, can you find your Pokemon Ranger? And I think that negates it, right? Because it's all effects of attacks. And that's an attack, right? 
And I'm just never going to go second, am I? And definitely want to put the Denny down. Uh, actually, I could put Shaman and just go get a Bunnelby. That's a thing. And it's Mewtwo Mew. Well, we're going to find out. So Town Map, please tell me I didn't prize like a million things. I prized half my energy and a Great Catcher and a Battle Compressor. So things are just peachy right now. I think I comp search these two away. Go get a Bunnelby and just pass because most likely they're going to Soul Burst turn one. And I mean, I didn't prize any Mad Partiers. I didn't prize Muscle Band. So when it comes to that, that's good. But you look at this, half of my prizes or half of my energy is prized. I only play six. And, oh, they're playing a water, so this might be ADP. Because why are you playing basic energy? Okay, so they're playing in lots of water energy. Is this giant, is this, is this my Blastoise and Piplup deck that I played way back when that I actually was surprised actually worked? I definitely build, you know, a lot of decks that you never see. And Blastoise and Piplup with, okay, so I don't think this is it. This is probably, they're probably gonna go for a Blastoise or something. Yeah, okay, so this is Archie's Blastoise with Mewtwo and Mew. So they probably aren't playing Jolteon, which is great. Oh, and it's just a pass, okay. That is interesting for me. So I guess I scoop up the Shaman, put the Bunnelby down. Uh, Viridian the Pokemon Ranger? I don't know, maybe I should have saved Viridian for later. Then I'll draw four. So there's teammates. Well, I'm probably... Okay, this is where things get interesting. I need to put all of my Mad Partiers in the discard. So if I have 16 Mad Partiers, then that means... No, I think I have to ditch this Bunnelby and I have to keep the Oracorio in play. I think ditching the Bunnelby is a necessary loss here. And there's a DCE. There's that. So I can hit into this. It's going to be for a very low amount of damage. Alternatively, I could knock out the Shaman, and I think that's actually what I'm going to do. And I think the Chaotic Swell is unfortunately what is going to have to get bumped here. And I just go for the knockout next turn on the Mewtwo and Mew, and just say, yeah, I'm totally getting it next turn. So Battle Compressor and I guess DCE? I only play two Great Catcher, and you know, the Catcher effects in this deck are very low. You definitely rely on Versus Seeker. So there are some horrible matchups. The Pyroar matchup, that's horrible. Uh, Vitavolt, Seismitoad, anything that shuts off your items is never a good sign. And they play multiple of the Q-Room? Why? It's not that good. I mean, I guess Ice Calibur is fun to say, but why would you play multiple of that? You know, you're knocking me out. Okay, so there's Archie's Ace in the hole. Not Maxie's Hidden Ball Trick, that is banned. And Pokemon Catcher, please don't go for my Oracorio. Oh, geez. There's no way you can take the knockout this turn, though, right? Well, I think we're about to find out. So what can they have? They're going to have to have a lot of energy in their hand, though, because if they want to take it with Tindra, they don't have it. If they want to take it with Keldeo, they don't have it. So they, they need more energy. They need... So Keldeo can't do it regardless. They would need two more energy. Yeah, they need two more energy on the Mewtwo and Mew to knock out the Oracorio. If they don't do that, they don't got it. But I think they're going for a Shaman. Yep, okay. So I need to... My energy situation is definitely better now. But losing this Oracorio really hurts. Uh, what's the rest of the rest of the is in here. So I guess if I if I'd known what was going to happen... And I would have done that. Okay, so they're taking the knockout. That is unfortunate. But what I can do is I can Great Catcher the Shaman 
and then target whistle Lysander the Shaman, and I can just bypass the Mewtwo and Mew entirely if I need to. And they knocked out Bunnelby. Why would you do that? That was a horrible decision. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, my energy situation is sketchy at best, so I just get rid of all those. Okay, well, I know if I take this knockout, I'm getting, you know, lots of energy. So I think it's necessary to, unfortunately, get rid of all this, go get a Bunnelby, versus Seeker for a Juniper. I think I can do it this turn, especially when I have Oracorio at my disposal. Uh, I could teammates for two Battle Compressors. That might actually be the smarter move. Because you can play it if one of your... Yeah, so I just go for two Battle Compressors. Yep, and then I Oracorio right after. So Battle Compressor, Battle Compressor. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't even need two Battle Compressor. Whoops, that's my bad. So what am I, what am I even doing? I got four, eight, 12, 240, 260, 280, that's a knockout. Uh, yeah, let's just dance a tribute, get three things. Scoop up that Marshadow. So I definitely put the Marshadow down. And yeah, let's, uh, let's mad party it up. So this is what I tried to do last game. I tried to knock out a Mewtwo and Mew. But obviously it was not easy, and that's a victory. See, that's what would have happened last game if I just had 10 more damage on the field. And now hopefully in the third game, I don't face Mewtwo and Mew again, because this is this is an easily winnable matchup. No more Mewtwo. Let's see something different. Oddly Octopus is my opponent, and they potentially are playing a colorless deck. And I'm just never going to go second with this deck. I don't know what it is. Maybe they're playing Snorlax VMAX and they're going to choose to go first, which is exactly what they did. And this hand is the opposite of good. So I might just go for a Dedenny unless I'm playing a single prize deck. If it's a single prize deck, then things change. Oh, don't tell me this is... This is just Durant, isn't it? Oh, this is... Oh, this is Durant. Get out of here with that Durant. No one wants to play Durant. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I should probably put a Bunnelby down. Oh, okay. Well, if I can knock out the Zacian, that is great. So this is, this is a weird deck. You know, I'll play this out. We'll see what happens. And to talk a little bit about the state of Expanded, the Pokemon company said there are cards that should be, I don't know if they said banned or just changed or gotten rid of, but they said there are cards that definitely should be changed and expanded, but since there aren't any major tournaments coming up, things are staying the same. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So I just want to get as many Mad Partiers as I can. This is definitely a hand I want to to Denny. So I'll put, yeah, put you in there. Need to go get to Denny at some point. So to do 220. Well, I think I'm already there, right? Like, I have... Maybe I don't to Denny. Maybe I Shaman first and then to Denny. So there's Shaman, because I need a Float Stone or a Scoop Up Net, and that's fine. Okay, so I got... I have 160 damage, 180 with the thing. I... Mr. Rhyme, I definitely need a Scoop Up Net. Please tell me I have two. I do have two. And then I think I just go grab the Denny. And I think it's worth putting the Bunnelby down just to clear the space. I think I can do this, because as long as I knock out the Zation, things should be fine. Things are not fine. I'll put the Swell down. There's the Muscle Band. I need a Float Stone or a Scoop Up Net. That's about it. And I did not get it. And I am out of things. And I didn't put a supporter in the discard pile that I could use. So we're just sort of sitting here waiting. Because I don't have... Yeah, because I prized that Shaman, so... Just sitting here waiting, but maybe they'll use Brave Blade or something and it'll all be fine. Yeah, they're going to use Brave Blade, so I think it should be okay. As long as they don't hit an Enhanced Hammer. If they hit an Enhanced Hammer, that is just bad. But yeah, for the bands and expanded, I think you'll see in the future Pokemon that knock themselves out. Those will probably get banned at some point. 
and probably scoop up net or shaman ex you know there's lots they could change that is horrible well you want to see somebody do over 200 damage i'm about to show you okay and that is cool really wish i had I really should have planned ahead. That was bad. So how many how many do I need? I need seven, nine, ten. Yep, that is enough. Uh, let's put you down. Sure. Let's see if they have a response. I don't want to feel below the life do quite yet because they probably have a way of getting that back with uh, what dowsing machine. So we'll see what happens there. And the stun fist is really bad. Okay, so I should be okay because I can put the... What's what's the heart? Don't give me a heart. What's this? Prevent all damage, special energy. Oh, it's just this Pokemon. Okay, that's fine. So I can great catcher that. That only has 240. They are not knocking it out unless they have another metal saucer. So they probably think they have me here. But they definitely do not, because I have all my great catchers. I have target whistle. I have a lot of things. I definitely should not attack, but I definitely don't have any other option. So I think I just ditch the Dedenny, go get Oracorio, because I have a great catcher and teammates, lots of energy. Lysander's there. So yeah, Oracorio, just get that. Take this knockout, lose the energy, that's fine. I probably put the float stone probably on the Dedenny because the Dedenny is the least thing they would target, I imagine. And if I'm at party, there's nothing else I want to do. Let's do that, and then I will knock out the Mega Lopunny and Jigglypuff for game next turn if everything goes well. All I need is Great Catcher, and I forgot to get rid of the Life Dew. Well, that was a mistake. But I still have Target Whistle, that's fine. I, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with the, I just, I, I spaced on it. You know, I had so many other things that I was trying to talk about, and I just spaced on the Life Dew. So you definitely Fuel Blower the Life Dew. That's why you play Fuel Blower, is for stuff like that. And yeah, so I still have Target Whistle, that is totally fine. And they're going to Flash Blast. So I'm doing 240. That's cool. There's a Juniper. That's also cool. Uh, yeah, I don't have quite what I need yet. I think I... Pokemon remove all effects of attacks. So it wouldn't do anything for what is currently going on. So I think I... Fuel blower now, sure. Target whistle disation. Put that back into play. Juniper, and then hope I get a great catcher. I do not. Okay. So there's a great catcher in there. There's a thing. Need to thin my deck as much as possible. Let's get that. Oh, hang on. Let's get Marshadow. So I have, I have game pretty much in my hand. I just, I would really like to get a great catcher right here just to quicken things up and that's, that's good enough for me. I will take that. So I will get rid of the Juniper and the Marshadow. I'll go get great catcher. I'll get rid of more things just to take this knockout. And yeah, so I'll great catcher the, those, whoa, hang on, not those two, those two. And knocked out. So I just need to versus Seeker. I have, I have everything I need, so I just need that. And let's go for the scoop up net. Oh yeah, I have that too. So I should be fine. I just need Lysander. I'm down two versus Seeker. I have two left, one in my hand, one in the deck. I don't think it really mattered if I kept the Lysander or got rid of it. You know, if they disrupt my hand, they disrupt my hand. And that is game. So that is a well played. You know, even though they had a Pokemon that was, you know, basically designed to stop my deck, Target Whistle, that's why you play Target Whistle, is people have things they can do to stop you. And you're just like, well, 
if you got rid of a Pokemon that I want to knock out, I can just go get it. And I think that was a pretty good showing for the Mad Party deck. I will say that just like Night March, it is not perfect. You will run into a lot of tough matchups. I had to cut a match against Ultra Necrozma. I just didn't get anything going. That isn't a horrible matchup, but once they shut off abilities, you can't use Shaman or Marshadow or Dedenne or Oracorio, so it can get really tough. And I also didn't show, well, I didn't even play a game against Pyroar because I, they had to mulligan. I saw that they had the Pyroar in their deck and I just conceded because I can't win that. It's an ability. You can't use Pokemon Ranger to shut off an ability. So Mad Party, Night March, decks like that, they have good matchups against, you know, bait decks that gives up multi-prizes. They can win against other single prize decks that don't have any spice to them. You know, if you go second and you get that knockout turn one and you see energy every single turn, you will be totally fine. So I think I'll end the video here. I'll leave the list in the description as always. Feel free to take it online and get some wins and expanded. The deck isn't cheap to make. You know, Shaman EX is still kind of expensive because it's so good. But compared to some of the other decks in expanded, it's fairly affordable. You know, I think I only play two Shaman. Yeah, two Shaman, the Dedenne, that's still fairly cheap. The Oracorio is only about a pack. The Galarian Mr. Rhyme is still kind of expensive. And obviously Comp Search, you can switch that for a bunch of things. If you can't afford Comp Search, switch it for a Dowsing Machine just to get you another item or, you know, just another Ultra Ball, another Chaotic Swell. Teammates, you definitely need a copy of Teammates. You definitely need a copy of Pokemon Ranger. That just stops so many things like ADP's Alter Creation. The Flash Ray, you have to have Pokemon Ranger in your deck if you're playing Mad Party or Night March. But yeah, I'll, I'll end here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I will probably be doing the championship decks from the tournament this weekend, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you then.